So today we'll be looking on to arrays, uh, a simple array type, and we'll also be looking on to list and array list as well. And we'll be going through how to iterate through an array and how exactly it's done in Kotlin. So basically uh, the first program that I'll be doing is just to declare an array. So to declare an array, I can take while my list. So basically we say array of one, two, three, four, and then I can also have an string type in this because I'm not defining the data type explicitly. So I say such in. So now I'll just try to iterate uh, through this array so, so that you understand how a basic array is created in Kotlin for my for elements in my list we have just created an array so it can contain integer or string so now i want to print the elements and then i can print out the elements so let's run this yeah so you can see the output here one two three four and such so basically if you want anything to be kept inside an array so you don't explicitly say the data type but in case you want this list to contain integers so you want to have integer so you can specify it has array of int so now you cannot have a string data type here so i have to remove it so now it's all good so I will be running it so you can see like if you want to explicitly say what value should be contained in an array you just say what it is in the form of array and what it accepts so it accepts int so now we have array and then we are trying to iterate it over a loop so we can also declare one more array list so now I want this as list list of int again it can be string but i would like to take int is equal to so it should be array list of can have one two three four and five so now i want to run through my list to to see what is present inside this in my list two say print ln my list so now I run this program let's see the output right so this I would like to comment and then rerun it again so you can see one two three four five so basically you can define the data type here like what exactly you want suppose you want uh, an array of type string you can declare it has strings you want it double you can declare it has double so this is a way of uh, creating arrays in Kotlin and you can also create a list. So now next we'll be seeing how to create an array list basically instead of an array and list I want to create an array list. So in that way so I say val my list 3 array list of strings let's go with strings this time so i say i say array list of the page such in and i guess this is good just to demonstrate so again i run a for loop elements in my list three so print ln element so let's run it so this is what i'm running my list 3 so you can see the patient searching so basically the idea of this uh, exercise is to make you understand like we can create array we can create a list we can create an array list in kotlin so now we have seen for loops uh, to iterate over the array list so if you want to use something called for each how exactly can we do is what we'll be seeing now so instead of a for loop it's a simple for loop where you can iterate uh, through the list and then print out the values so if you want to use something like for each loop how does a for each loop works in this case so for each so you can just print ln it 
so it refers to the uh, current uh, element one single element so basically now if i run my list the first list then it will be one two three four so this is another way of uh, iterating over a list using a for each loop so i want you guys to understand both the ways of iterating uh, through the loops so here i have used for each in the previous uh, sample that i did we have used for loop so please be updated for our upcoming videos thank you mm -hmm.